Hello lovely people, welcome to jamielove.com. Uh, this is a breakfast special, yes it is. We're doing smoothies, and yes I know, you probably know how to make smoothies, but I just wanted to go over some background of what makes it very easy for me. You know, it's incredibly nutritious. The other day, oh by the way, this is Buddy. Young Buddy. Say hello Buddy. Silence. This is what happens when you put kids under pressure. So um, the other day I offered up uh, Buddy a load of uh, fruit, and he was like, Pfft don't like it, don't like it. I went, do you want a smoothie? He went, yes. I took the same fruit, put it in the liquidizer, wazzed it up, bit of yogurt, put it back in front of him, boom, gone. That is the spirit. Getting the good stuff into the little ones, getting the good stuff into the big ones, uh, and also making a damn fine drink. So there's a couple of little common denominators for me that work every single time. Uh, one thing that is incredibly good for you, um, no matter what, is ginger. Okay, uh, ginger is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let me just finish this kiwi. If you look at the ginger here, I don't know if you're interested, buddy, right? But instead of peeling it, you can just scrape it away with a spoon um, and it comes off really, really easy like that. Do you want to have a smell? So ginger is a very good friend. Uh, the other thing is, is like, you know, when you have fruit in the house, and we have a lot of fruit in our house, uh, it's always kind of, there's always something on the turn like our little good friends here, Mr. Banana. We all know that tomorrow these bananas will be on the turn, getting a bit mouldy and horrible. So whenever it gets, whenever any fruit gets to that point, I have these brilliant little Ziploc bags and we, I just build up combinations. Now, another common denominator is banana. I always have a banana in a batch of smoothie. It gives it a sweetness and a creaminess and a deliciousness that's really generically brilliant. Uh, and then you can make any combo that you like. Now, I like to have the fruit kept in the freezer, and I like to just bag up little kind of four portion batches so that any morning I come down, I don't have to think about it, I don't even have to try it, I just whaz it in the liquidizer, add a bit of ginger, and Bob's your uncle. So, let's make a nice little raspberry. These are all frozen. Um, frozen raspberries, frozen bananas. We're gonna put in a little knob of ginger, uh, a little bit of honey, just a little bit. If you want to put some porridge oaks or some seeds in, absolutely you can. Sunflower seeds are good, almonds are good, you can get those in. And of course, a little splash of yogurt ain't half bad either. And then we're going to have a little wazzy wazzy woo woo. If you want to let it down, if it's frozen fruit, a little milk. Do you like a smoothie, buddy? No. No? Yeah. Okay. So, have a little taste. If you want to add any more acid, you can put some lime juice in and brighten it up. Actually, the raspberries are really, really good. So, there's the first one. A beautiful smoothie of raspberries. I'm going to rattle out another one just to get the spirit going. Nice and thick, nice and cold. Of course, you can use any fruit you want. Getting the nuts in there is really good. Getting some dairy in there is really, really good. The next one I'm gonna do, again, there's banana in there. I've got some beautiful blueberries. Um, you know, when there's blackberries um, at the end of summer and you pick a load, freeze them, having these bags like racked up in a whole shelf is just brilliant. It saves you all the effort in the world. Um, and you can mix up the nuts don't go for anything heavy like a walnut um, or a hazelnut, just kind of stick to things like almonds, pine nuts, um, sunflower seeds, stuff like that. Um, a little milk and a little honey. And that's it. The basic principles. Well, the, the things I really wanted to get across here is that frozen fruit gives you that refreshment and that thickness, which is really, really good. Um, also, bagging them up and using up any sort of fruit on the turn is just, you know, it's, it's getting rid of waste. It's kind of meaning that you can keep your fruit bowl really lush all the time, knowing that you're not going to waste any. Um, and of course, getting the ginger in there and the banana, guaranteeing great texture every single time is perfect. I'm going to rattle this one out.
and like have a little taste and like if it feels a bit flat and a bit sort of like nothing like lime juice or a little apple juice really brightens it up a treat so just like any sauce or any pasta sauce or anything like checking it for seasoning you're kind of doing that with a smoothie is that nice buddy yeah Another great little tip is if you haven't got any frozen fruit, and by the way, you can buy frozen fruit in all the supermarkets, and it's pretty damn good value. Um, use just some regular ice and some frozen fruit, and you'll get that same lovely, thick, refreshing. Blueberry, look at the colors. The colors are so, so gorgeous. It's like nature's natural pastel colors. So damn good. So there you go boys and girls, I'm sure you know how to do smoothies, but the frozen bags, wicked, ginger in everyone, good for you, you know, using it uh, to get rid of any leftover fruit. Oh, I on my coat. Oh, you got it on your coat? Yes. Shall I wipe it off? Yes. 